Hello everyone. Alright, so I have been working all day long, been getting hot, you know, because down here in Central Texas, it is hot. It is truly summer. Oh my goodness, it is crazy. It is summer. So I'm sure everybody, no matter where you're at, whether you're South Texas, North Texas, um, Central Texas, you know, whatever coast, you're hot. It is almost August and it is hot, right? I don't know very many people who aren't hot. And what is one of our great summer treats that we enjoy? Snow cones, at least my daughter does. So I have been hacking how to make a snow cone for almost a year now for her. And I have been able to, and kind of off and on, but what I decided while we were, as soon as we moved, that we needed to definitely fine tune our snow cone kind of treats and be able to figure out a way to monopolize on our oils and our magnesium and how to be able to make it really yummy. And it's a perfect way to kick off um, Hillary's um, awesome Periscope that's going to be tonight um, with all her treats that she's going to be sharing about all that stuff. So it kind of like just kicked me in the butt to make sure I post this because I've been playing with lots of different fun um, uh, variety of flavors. All right, so I want you to think about what your favorite snow cone treat is and play with that. All right, so some of the ideas that I have. First of all, you're going to want to have a squeezy bottle, a good, safe, um, a squeezy bottle uh, that's for essential oils um, because think about the simple syrups that they make. They squeeze them, right? You can also use an old um, stevia uh, dropper bottle, but the big thing about snow cones is they squeeze all that syrup, right? So then you're going to want to have a container to be able to pour it all into or to have it to mix up so that you can pour it into your um, squeezy bottle. Um, the cool thing about using stevia uh, for your simple syrup is that you don't have to boil it, you don't have to get it all melty and all that stuff. If you want to use one of the other types of natural sweeteners, like a little bit of honey or maple syrup or something like that, you will have to still melt it down with the water in a, um, a pot <laughs> and let it then cool before you put it into your squeezy bottle. But we're wanting to not spike our insulin, right? To be able to have a sweet treat that has absolutely no bad effects, but also could possibly have some good health benefits. So let's have some fun. So I'm in the mood for something kind of citrusy. I came up with a flavor that my daughter really, really likes. So we take a scoop of the cherry magnesium calm, and I'm gonna put it in this Pyrex. All right, so I'm gonna get a scoop of it going. All right, so there we go. And it's gonna start mixing. She really likes cherry flavor. And this one is gonna be kind of like a fruit punch, fruit bowl, you know, flavor. It's really yummy. She loves this. And then I take a drop of the kumquat essential oil. It's kind of a like a trop, think of a tropical fruit uh, bowl. That's kind of what this one ends up tasting like. And then I'm gonna take a drop of the red mandarin. All right, drop of that. Oh, I've got two. It's okay. I really like it. Now, simple syrup is really sweet, right? So we got to remember that since we're wanting to make this really sweet, I'm gonna end up using a lot more stevia than I normally do. So here I've got my bowl or my container. I'm gonna do a full dropper and a second full dropper. All right, that one didn't get quite full. And I'm using the English toffee because I really like the English toffee. To me, it has a little bit fuller vanilla flavor. But think about the different flavors that you can get your stevia drops so that you can mix, say, the peppermint with a chocolate stevia. Wouldn't that just be divine? And then actually mix it with some coconut milk and make it just really creamy. Um, if your child wants it to be colored, use a tea bag that um, is based, you know, that has, um, say, cherry or apple cinnamon, something that's going to create a color in your snow cone so that you don't have any of the dyes, um, but they still have a color to go in with their, um, their snow cone, okay? So I got this going. 
smells pretty sweet. All right, I'm gonna pour it in here. Now from here, what you can do once you get it poured, you really don't have to stir it because the handy thing is you've got your lid and you're gonna shake, All right? Now you heard the magnesium. Now you don't have to do it with magnesium, but it works really well. All right, it's pretty sweet to me, but I know my daughter would want it sweeter. So I'm gonna put one more dropper full of stevia and this is where, if your child doesn't necessarily like stevia, um, another good choice would be um, melting down uh, xylitol. The xylitol can create some gas issues for some people. So just kind of play and tweak with what's going to be the best um, non-spiking sweetener for your body. All right, so that one's ready. It is good. Um, I might even add a drop of lemon. Who knows? But now we're going to make noise, right? So what I did was I actually got my ice ready in a bowl so that you can see using my Ninja. All right, simple, simple. Using my Ninja, I'm going to put the ice in. All right, so it's about halfway full. And the reason why I'm doing it this order is because you, once the ice is ground up, you want to be able to pour and use, right? Um, especially when you're making it fresh. This really makes it just like that, oh, that snow, snow cone kind of, of ice. But once you put it in the freezer, it does get kind of hard. All right, so here we go. Let's get my Ninja going. We're going to make some noise, guys. Beware. Here, I'm going to put it on food puree. We can check to see how snowy looking it is. And I actually switched it to the frozen drink smoothie. I forgot that that one makes it really snowy. So you can see it's pretty snowy. So here, again, it's really snowy. So now I've got this cool little cup that, again, it's glass, so therefore it's safe. Or you could, you know, stainless steel, but your hands would get kind of cold. But I'm going to scoop this out, and it, like I said, it's really snowy already. It's pretty awesome. That's what I love about my Ninja. It's so versatile. All right. I don't know if I can get it like the tops. Let's see if we can make a top like the snow cone places do, right? All right, we got a pretty good top going on there. I'm going to go with that. And then now, we're going to do our simple syrup. Now, again, I didn't do a colored one. You just pour it for however much you think that you need. And say if you have any left over, you can store it. The ones without any um, cream or anything like that, you can store it um, in the pantry, um, or you can just put it in the refrigerator just to make sure. Um, let's taste. Now that is a way to cool off this afternoon while I sit and enjoy a book. All right, you guys have a beautiful and blessed rest of your afternoon, and I hope you enjoy your snow cone. And catch y'all later. All right, God bless.